recording and then I'm gonna go ahead and do some land law reading before my international law supervision at 11.30 I'm also aiming to tidy my room today because it's honestly such a mess and like I can leave before you look But that's what we get for living alone and having a lot of work to do which is every single other person Yeah, it's just an excuse I'm just lazy Condensation Caramel latte Bolo bao and a sausage bao Shining my soup bowl I'm okay, I'm okay All I can, so we're just gonna take off I'll see you in the fortnight Thank you Thank you, bye One hour and 30 minutes of international law Okay, gonna grab lunch now Welcome to the study room, I guess. So Newnham opened this new study room which accommodates eight people for studying. I feel like I'm giving a presentation. Oh, this is the Barbara Wayne. So nobody really comes in here, so it's normally just like me. But I'm gonna try to start and finish the first draft of my land law essay. Yeah. I actually did my mock in here last year, last, oh, actually this year in January. Today I'm going to sit at the window seat because it's quite bright there and I just want some, I don't know, nice scenery. And when I need to charge my laptop, I'll go back there. So I am having my second coffee of the day, an iced coffee this time. It's oat-based and I haven't actually had a good experience with oat-based drinks. Guess we'll see how this one tastes. Yeah, like I thought, I don't like it. <sighs> So this is like a typical problem question in land law. Basically first I go over the question, highlight things, I try to split it up so that I can know what kind of structure I'm looking for in the essay. Okay, so I just finished highlighting and then secondly I would go back through the PK and then think of any cases that kind of match the facts. So it's kind of like a very rough PQ slash essay plan that normally I think people do a more extensive essay plan but I prefer to just do very brief notes and then to go straight into writing the actual PQ. So here I have my PQ which I'll put on this side and then my notes from my supervision which is also ultimately going to be my PQ notes for the exam. So I like to use my senior notes as well just because well they have good notes. I also tend to read example sample answers from previous years to check what kind of format my PQ should be like. So this is my first LAN PQ, so yes. I'd find this question on the past paper exams and then look at the examiner report in order to find out what I need to include into my PQ and what people did during the exam year. essentially what I've done so far. This is my progress with the problem questions. So this is like my plan here and then this is what I wrote so far and it has taken so long and it's so difficult but it's actually quite fun I think because this is very similar to Roman law. But yeah, I have to actually run. I'm gonna be late. Of course I'm gonna be late. I'm always late. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I do do this all the time. I'm quite productive though. We've had a productive session, so we can go. Ding, 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 ding. 
expose myself like this but um it's very messy here oh just a quick pee but um all my clothes fell on the floor uh i was meaning to tidy my room for about like 10 days straight but um it just never happened because i've been so busy so i'm gonna do that right now because i feel like it and also because i kind of just need to <laughs> so i just came back from the dinner okay i didn't just Get back i got back like an hour or two ago but i was too lazy to film and i was just on my phone but <laughs> i should be finishing my problem question but hey we got like half of the problem question done so that's like more than i thought i would i tidied around for a bit i still have more to tidy but i've just been procrastinating i guess so i have an essay due tomorrow at 5 p.m and i have already finished it so i'm just over word count so this is the one that i was working on in the cafe so i'm about like 173 words over word count so I am planning to go through it and then delete and then just send it off because I have another essay to do tomorrow so I just want to get this one done and like gone so that there's one thing less tomorrow for me to fuss about so I'm just gonna quickly work on this word count and hope for the best here is the complete thing it is my treaties essay or treaties pq I got it down to 1495 words which is very good so I'm gonna send this off so I'm actually heading to the library first thing in the morning today so I can get through some lectures and do some work be quite a chill day just because I don't have any classes yeah and then prepare for my supervisions recently I've been to the cafe to study a lot but I haven't really been to the library yet so I'm excited to go there well I'm not excited but I <laughs> I'm looking forward to it I guess <laughs> At Cambridge, it's like a blended teaching style right now. So some things are online and then some things are in real life. I have like two classes in real life that happens fortnightly. I am hoping to be able to change most of them online sooner or later. Just because I don't want any more COVID scares. Wait, no. Eh, how do people plot their hair? Okay, okay, start again. Oh, I look like a schoolboy. I'm gonna make my plaits fatter. Ching. a walk more than anything does anyone else also leave their washing like until very late and just like pile it up in the dorms ready for my coffee fix today this is 
is a lot. Looks very smooth. This is like the best milk, in my opinion, to make your cold coffees. I think actually everybody uses this, so I don't know why I'm saying. I believe I'm just going to stay here for the rest of the day to work. Until I have more motivation, then I'll go into the study room. The lectures that I'm doing, oh, can't see me anymore. The lectures that I'm working on right now are very hard, so... Nothing much is going in my brain, but I'm just trying my best to get through it. I am hoping to get through at least like around six hours of lecture today, along with reading. Not on one time speed, on like a bit more than that. If I don't finish the lectures, I can't really do the reading properly, so that's why I need to like rush to do everything. Pretty sure that everyone just wants to go home by now, but I do too. I also want to go home, but I'm also just trying my best to enjoy it as much as I can here with the workload and everything like that. I mean, after all, I was the one who really wanted to come to Cambridge and I was the one who really wanted to be academically challenged and I am challenged. I guess we can start working now. yourself a lot that is all for me today and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye take care